Hey guys, what's up? This is Artsy Cube Nerd, and today I have an unboxing from E3 Cube Store. Okay, so, um, I pretty much kind of opened the package already just to take a picture and put on my Instagram. You could follow me on there at artsycubenerd if you want. So, yeah. Okay, so, two business cards. I don't know why there's two. And, of course, a wristband. I already have one of these from my Ponchu unboxing. Um, and I'll do a review on that right after this. Uh, but here's the box, purple box. Um, it's a nice box. And then it's in a bag. So. Um. It's a little greasy, so I'm just going to wipe it down. Okay, uh, so it is actually small, hence it is a mini Xing Shell 7x7. Um, it's really smooth, which is awesome. I really, really like that. Um, I guess that's like a trademark with Xing Shell products is their cubes are smooth, which is awesome. Uh, tensions don't seem to be equal on all sides. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> As I stated, tensions are not equal on all sides. I've never had this happen to a Xing Xiao cube before. Oh, man. Okay, so I fixed it. Um, seems to be loose. Whoa and tight on some sides. I don't know how I'm going to fix this. Um, so yeah. Whoops. Uh, but I guess with this, I mean, the cube is smooth. I actually can do kind of a sexy move. I'm, I know I'm moving really slow right now because I'm like distracted. Um, so yeah. Um, it is really smooth. The tensions out of the box is a little loose for me. Um, and some sides are actually tight. Um, I think that's why I got that weird lock up type thing but um out of the box i mean it is a really good cube and i like that it's small because i do have small hands so uh let's compare it with a xing Shao 5x5 you guys can kind of see that it's probably about maybe two millimeters two and a half bigger than a 5x5 five five. and then I only have a V cube 7 so I'm going to compare it with that it is huh what is it it looks to be about a whole layer off I think but this cube is curved so but it seems to be about a whole layer off um, which is good because I can barely do sexy move um, with my V-Cube 7. I'm not even going to do it, so whatever. Um, but first impression, it's really good. I'm going to play with this cube for a few days and see how it works, and I'm going to uh, probably retension it and re-lube it. Or I probably won't lube it. I probably just will lube the core. So there's a little bit of spring noise. I don't know if you guys could hear it. Yeah, there's just a little bit. Um, so yeah, guys, I'm gonna pretty much 
uh, retention the cube and lube the core. And I'll be back with a review in a few days. All right, hey guys, so I'm back. Um, I have lubed my core and everything. Um, finding the right tension was a bit hard. I don't know, because like, sometimes my inner layer actually moves with the outer layer, um, which is actually kind of annoying for me. As you can see, that moved. Um, but for the most part, my tension is decent. Like, I think I could work with it. I think I could tighten it a little bit more. Um, especially the more that I play with it. Because I've played with it now for... Uh, when did I get this? Um, I think I've had it for like four days now. So I guess we'll just get into the stickers. Stickers are pretty much basic uh, Xing Shao stock stickers. Yellow is the same as that dull, nasty looking yellow. And I have this in our cap off for a reason. So if we do a checker pattern. Um, so here's a checker pattern. Blue and green. You can actually tell these apart. Yellow and white, obviously you can tell apart. But the yellow is just a really nasty color. And then orange and red, I could tell apart pretty pretty decently. Um, so yeah, see, like it just seems like my inner layer just moves a little too much for me. So I might tighten this a bit because I don't I don't want my inner layers to move with the outer layer. But anyways, um, I'm gonna show you guys the pieces and compare it to a V cube seven. So let's kind of start inside. So here's the V cube, obviously, and the Xing shell. Um, clearly pieces are smaller on the Xing Shao because it's the mini. Uh, so, I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, definitely a lot of similarity stuff. The only thing that's different is the Xing Shao. They like to, they have like these hooks so that the pieces can... Uh, stay connected to the other pieces, kind of like they kind of hook on so that the pieces don't pop out. That's why Xing Shao is known to not really have their cubes pop all the time, especially on the right tension. Um, but this doesn't stop the cube from locking up. I think that having hooks can also cause major lockups, especially um, if your cube is on a more looser tension. Um, so there's that. And then let's take a look at these I think yeah these ones and you can see pretty much the same basic idea um, and yeah see again a hook on the Xing Shao uh, so yeah I'm getting like really distracted by this movie I'm watching uh, so sorry, but yeah, same basic ideas. Um, and then let's kind of look at the center corners. I th yeah, I think this is the center corner pieces. Um, again, same basic idea. Only difference here is this is a little more rounded, which is very interesting that this is more rounded. And this is more pointed. Um, so that's that's really cool. I like that. So that means I don't need to modify it if I ever decide to modify my Xing Shao's, which I don't think I'll do. And again, we have the hook on the Xing Shao. And now these edges, and they connect like this. So there's that. They kind of have a little dip ridge type thing going on uh, right there um, on both sides. Oh, and look at that. See, it's rounded, which is really, really good. I like that. That's awesome. Because um, if I was to compare it to this one, see how it's not really rounded? It's kind of jagged, like, boom, straight on to a point. And you can see same basic idea here. Except the Xing Shao is rounded. Um, and then here's the back hook here. And then 
the final edge piece. Same basic idea. And of course, the hook in the back. Um, so those are the pieces. Uh, corner cuts. So let's do, whoa, line to line. This line to this line. So that's really good. Let's do it again. So yeah, that's really good. Um, let's do the other way. I don't think I could do line to line, but let's test it out anyways. Yeah, that's what I thought. So let's kind of push it just a little bit back, right on the corner kind of, as you can see there. And it's kind of there. Like I said, my tensions are a bit tighter because um, I don't ever really corner cut with my big cubes. Um, so yeah. Uh, reverse cutting, I don't think it's there at all. What? Love, whoa, okay, let's do that again. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe it is there, I think, because these, uh, the center corner is actually rounded, um, which is something that I've pointed out in the pieces. Okay, that is really cool. I wish they could do that with all the Xing Xiaos. Um, but then that would just kind of be, well, it probably won't be dumb. I'm impressed that it could actually do reverse. Um, I didn't lube my pieces. I might lube my pieces, but I might not. I think I want to play with it for about another week to really break it in. And then I'm going to go in and lube my pieces. Because uh, I like to break in my cubes before I lube them to kind of give the cube a more better feel. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but that's it for now. Um, maybe in the future I'll do a video of me solving my mini 7x7 because I don't have a video of me solving a 7x7 and I'm not the fastest person in the world but I do enjoy cubing and I think that's the point of the cubing community is to talk about all the new puzzles and to just be amongst people who have the same interest as you. But anyways, I'm going to get going and I will hopefully... Actually, you know what, I'm going to do my punchy review right after this so... Um, stay tuned for that as well, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I'm standing for my crowd, you know that it's going down, cause we all now.